Committee. November 18th, Council Member Zion and Council Member Parks. Is Mr. Kretz arriving? Yes, no, we don't know. Okay, we're going to begin. We have two items on the agenda. If there's anyone here for public speaking, fill out a card now. And let's take number one first, please. Item number one are reports from the City Administrative Officer and the Board of Police Commissioners relative to a grant award in the amount of $100,000 from the Department of Alcohol Beverage Control for the Police Department's Operation ABC program. The Public Who's Safety here? Committee. Go ahead, go ahead. The Public Safety Committee recommended approval of the matter at its November 2nd meeting. Okay, who's here for item number one? Captain. Good afternoon, Captain Ann Young, Detective Support and Vice Division. And no uh, more traffic for you, huh? It's been a while. It has been a while. <laughs> a couple of years. <laughs> and I'm here with Sergeant Lee Garcia, uh, who's in charge of my Operation ABC. And you left West Valley. I did a couple of years ago, sir. <laughs> it seems like yesterday. And then we have our uh, CAO, Jason. So is there a matching fund on this, or is it all from the grant? Reimbursement of $100,000, but it says the cost of $328,770, so the city's going to put in $228,000. Correct. Where's uh, that coming from? The, the city currently budgets the sworn salaries for the positions associated with the grant. Um, what it is is the department previously requested resolution authorities, and in this version of the grant, um, we did not continue the resolution authorities. Um, so, so, Captain... What does that mean? So... We're not going to put 100 or 220 thousand dollars in. Well, we're no longer going to expand the police force by 220 thousand. What's going to happen is um, the commanding officer is going to find a way to efficiently redeploy the officers to maintain the service levels previously provided by the sergeants without giving them the extra resolution authorities. So they're going to work within their uh, council-approved resources. Let me ask you, remind me on uh, resolution authorities well, tell them unfunded? Tell them back. Um, correct. Okay. So they just, if they have funds within the budget, they would end up funding them? Correct. So the now grant. We've, we've stripped the resolution, so it's just they work within their own PO. Correct. Okay. So the 100000 <laughs> is there a required match, or we could do without the match? Uh, there's not a required match. Okay. Um, the match is just the, the personnel associated with the program, and currently, uh, the department has expressed the desire to continue um, deploying two sergeants uh, to operate the program. And it shows uh, $32,784 in overtime. But I thought our overtime funds were struck. Would this be an exception to that? Um, the over since the overtime is paid for by the grant, um, the grant tour will give us the funds and then we'll pay out the funds directly. Um, so it does, it's not involved with the whole overtime strip discussion. Okay, so they've got two sergeants to coordinate, two sergeant, two positions, re remaining salary funded for availability. So the, the regular assignment is to do this, and will this give them additional opportunities with the overtime? Is that how it's going to work with the two sergeants? I'm trying to figure out, since we're not going to have the match by the city of 228000 well, the overtime will assist with the sergeants to have them, uh, well, allow them to do additional uh, details that they've been so involved in. Uh, so they'll be, do they'll be doing on regular time and then overtime. So this will get, permit them to work regular schedule. Correct. And then they'll do additional overtime to help more locations. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Good. And apparently it's been successful according to... 2,209 meetings, and apparently some 89 closed more than 89 non-compliant outlets, 89 places put out of business. Yes. That's we've significant. Closed, we've closed a few more since then. Any in the valley? Uh, well, we've just issued some citations in the valley at the one particular one that <coughs> I'm sure you're well aware of, the wet spot. Uh, we cited them recently for uh, service to obvious intoxicated person. Excellent. Very good. We, we receive a lot of complaints at that location. Mr. Parks. 
Let me ask you, see, where, where does it reflect that the, the sub-authorities or resolution authorities are not there? Because I missed that totally and I can't find it. Um, in the police department's report, they requested resolution authorities. Okay. Um, in our report, we did not include that request in our recommendations. So when this goes to council and council approves the report, the department will not get the resolution authorities. Okay. The, the thing is, is uh, and this is something we've been putting a lot of pressure on the CAO and, and departments not to go beyond the grant funds, but the problem, I mean, not the problem, but the issue is you'd miss that unless you read every line to say, well, they asked for it, you didn't comment on it. It wasn't that we, we graphically put in the report that we're not going to approve their request. It's just, it's just silent. And so I think we, we need to make, because what made no sense to me when, when I was sitting here and you said, well, they don't get the resolution authorities, then all of these graphs as to the dollars make no sense then because we shouldn't be talking about uh, $328,000 that city costs if the positions aren't going to be there, if, that's, if I understand it correctly. Um, when we authorize the resolution authorities, we would need to give the the department additional funds to pay for those authorities since they're not part of their base DPO. Um, so by not giving them the resolution authorities, there's no additional cost to the city by accepting the grant. They'll just make do with their current personnel. I know, but I'm saying if, if they are going to make do with their TO and they're just going to do this as a side job, then to say the city's going to pay 228000 is somewhat misleading. <clears throat> particularly when you talk about personnel costs. <clears throat> I mean, because I mean, the first thing I would think of, if you say 148, we're paying for these people, if you're saying it's an absor absorb function and they're just going to make do, then that job, that, that TO position is there for something else. They're just going to absorb the function. So is it really $147,000 that we're paying? Uh, the only reason we list it that way mm -hmm is that because it's up to the, the commanding officer, whether or not they're willing to put those troops forward for that purpose. That could be, those officers in theory could be reassigned to another program instead of supporting Operation ABC. So, But if I understand it, the positions, maybe that's the captain, the positions that we're talking about, what do they do normally? This is their primary responsibility. They do Operation ABCs, ABC I mean, investigations. As, as a, TO position, they do that? It's above TO. Because okay. the, the sergeant positions are actually paid from the grant. Okay, so it's above then, TO. Then if you cut the resolution authority, then where do they come, where, where do they come from or where do they go? What, what we, if I may so. add something, what we probably have to do is to petition through personnel and get uh, uh, Two sergeant two authorities from personnel division or department. So you loan people move. in. We'll get them assigned to DSVD to do the functions if we were to lose this authority because they're being paid from the grant authority. So we'd have to get them assigned to DSVD from personnel. But that would take them from some somewhere else. Yeah. I mean, it's not like their positions just not do anything. So you. Well, then we're back to the D now I see why you've written it this way because if they're going to go get the other positions somewhere else, it is a cost to the city. That's what we were trying to okay. that there is a cost to the city, yeah, okay. but the department fills that program, so the program should be continued even with the less than grant funding, and they're willing to sacrifice some other function in order to continue with this function. Okay. But I think that's what we've been talking about in the budget process. If you, if they make that decision, then they should budget for it. Because if you take some authorities from somewhere else that the, the, the council has said, we're gonna fund to do a certain task and you take them, then you're budgeting outside of the, of the city's process. So if you took the authority, then in effect, they go find two other positions. They've nullified your actions and they've stolen them from somewhere else that someone may think is more important than this. Well, it shows here LAPD take, dedicates two police sergeants to coordinate Operation ABC. Mm -hmm. So that's a dedicated two sergeant, two positions dedicated out of the police department budget. And then this additional money coming from the grant 
which says sworn salaries, overtime, training equipment to a tune of $100,000, that $100,000 will go for the two sergeants that already assigned to this Operation ABC. That'll just enhance their ability to do their job, longer hours, et cetera. Yeah. And I think what they said is that if they take the authorities away, the positions don't exist. So they'd have to go take them from some other operation in the department. But they're already assigned, so they're not going to take them away. But this is strictly for two positions, two sergeant, two positions, and you're one of the sergeant twos. Yes. Who's your partner? Sergeant Steve Moore, sir. Okay. So you and Steve are the ones that work this detail. Correct. Either together or separate. And if you work it separate, is there another officer that joins you? Uh, we usually join up with one of the uh, bias units, one of the other bias units. That's already existing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see it. Yeah. Let me just ask. Uh, generally, this comes to budget and finance. Do we know why that didn't get referred? It was referred just to public safety and personnel this time. But there's really no allocation for personnel because there are already existing positions. So what we're, act what we're asking for is the continuation of the 100000 not the cost to the city, but just the grant to assist in the operation of the two. So you're, you're assigned to this particular division, you and your partner? Yes. Okay. Well, I get that part. You clear? I'll explain it to you. Well, I understand it. It's not a bait and switch. No, if you, if they have two position resolution authorities, yep. they're being, they basically funded out of their salary overages. Right. CAO's cutting those. So therefore they have to go within the department and find two more positions to fill those, which means they be, could be coming from other functions that the budget doesn't allow. Were you aware of that, Cap, that they were gonna do that? That's, that's what happens when he cut the resolution. See, yeah. see that's what but this, well, this program's been going on for a long time. 14 years. 14 years. Yeah. Cause I remember the sergeant had it before you used to come in annually. Yeah. See, but I think what happens is that there is no money when we cut the, the department's budget to a point, there is no money for resolution authority. So in the years past, there was money they would accumulate over time. Today, there isn't that kind of money. So you don't, there is no resolution authority money. Correct. So the, the option would be to either not accept the grant and discontinue the program, which the department has, you know, expressed um, an interest in continuing and leave the officers in their current deployments or to reassign officers to continue this program. So yeah, I think from the, budget from the budget committee standpoint, our concern would be where are those positions coming from because we budgeted for specific positions throughout the, the city and if all of a sudden we find out that two Sergeant Twos happen to be watch commanders from field op or someplace else, then you have a concern of saying, you know, we didn't, may not agree that you take watch, assistant watch commanders or a vice unit person and put them there. So that's the whole budgeting process that we've been very concerned with. And that's why we changed in our assignments this year on the council, we added into the budget finance committee a review of grants that have an impact on the general fund because we've been finding historically uh, we get $100,000 and we spend $200,000. We're, we're going well beyond the grant. And some of these are upside down to where I think we had one in the Valley recently where we spent uh, for 300000 I think we spent almost a million. And you start looking at them and saying, are they worth the 300000 to spend a million? So that's why we want them to come to, to come through budget and finance so that we can address that because if we're taking positions from another from other authorities, then that should be the, be budgeted for or there should be some concurrence that where they're coming from, everybody kind of agrees with that. Um, going forward, we can include in our report mm -hmm. um, a description from PD's personnel control where the positions are coming from mm -hmm. with the recommendation that you know the committees can vote on. That's, that's what we need because otherwise, you you know, we have some members of the committee wouldn't vote on currently with the budget problems, wouldn't vote on an overage anyway. And then they may be even more sensitive when you tell them where it's coming from because, as you know, as a CAO, the first thing you, you're going to look at next year and say, 
if you can lose them for a year, you can lose them forever. And so you then take your, uh, speaking of June over there, she understands it. No, but the issue is that's the, that's will happen over time. If you if you can loan something for a year, the CAO will be there next year and say, <clears throat> you got one less. So pretty soon it catches up with you. Understood. So the resolution on this, Mr. Kretz, any question? I don't have any questions. I'd just say this is an important program. So if there's some way to preserve it, I certainly would encourage that. I would just like to see if we could, maybe the information you're talking about, if we could send this to budget and finance and have that by the time it comes there. So how about if we approve it and send it to council and have it before it comes to council? We don't want to scrap the program. Oh, no, we are not going to scrap the program. It's not going anywhere. It's been there for 14 years. We just want to make sure we're, we're basically looking at uh, where these funds are going. So what if we uh, approve it with the uh, direction of have it uh, answered before it comes to the council floor? Well, Otherwise, you have to go through another committee and get scheduled again. I'm trying to expedite it. I know. We meet every Monday. Oh, you do? Yeah. So this will be scheduled for Monday? Yeah, we'll take care of that. All right. You want to do that? Yeah. So you have to go through. Yeah. We'll meet every every Monday and except, what is it, June the, the, the 9th, the 14th? Yeah. Then we go on the, you know, something like that. Yeah. All right. So we'll refer this to budget and finance. But if you can get us that information, then we can have a clear idea and we facilitate it. Yeah, on a, on a go forward basis, the idea with the grant programs where full funding wasn't provided, the police department's going to request a specific budget package to continue that program in the formal budget process, which um, we're underway with and we're meeting with them. Tomorrow. And I think it, 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 the way the budget is, the likelihood is that many of those may not get approved because we're at bare bones. And so, but that's the proper way to do it is budget for it. And the same thing we run into with the CA, the, the city attorney, we have grant programs that have been going on for years, and then all of a sudden the money dries up and they said, let me continue it, and then you have a bunch of some authorities and resolution authorities, and, and that, that way CAOs don't get a chance to sweep your accounts if you keep using the money. All right, so without opposition, that will be the direction sent to Budget and Finance for <coughs> a hearing on Monday. And the committee is also approving the recommendations <coughs> in addition to Yes, in addition to the request from Mr. Parks. Okay, so you still have a job for another year. Thank you. Number two, please. Item number two is a report from the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power and an ordinance relative to the amendment of the LA Ad Code to provide wage parity for other than executive non-represented DWP employees. Well, this is, came out of EERC, right? Was this at EERC? No. Why is it here? I don't remember the ERC. Because no, it has not, but this just brings the one SRPA that was funded by DWP that was the perfect outreach report. This brings that provision in with what all city SRPAs are receiving. DWP does the rest of the position they're getting. And that Is it, was in response to my inquiry about that response to the ERC. Because the note on our, our notes say that this is consistent with previous instruction of the ERC. And then we should send it to ERC. That'd be the appropriate direction. So we're going to make a recommendation. Send us to ERC number two. Go to ERC for approval before it comes here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's it for today. Thank you, Mr. Parks. Thank you. Dennis.